Hi, I'm Jim from Uper Survival. I'm with my good friend Dan. <coughs> Today we're just going to test out our bug out gear. We got some new gear and equipment we want to try out. Uh, first thing before, we're going to treat this like a real bug out situation. And one thing I've, I've always watched a lot of bug out videos because I don't really plan on bugging out, but if I do have to, it'd be nice to see what other people are using. But one thing I never see in any video is keys. Dan's got a set of keys, I got a set of keys. Both to the buggy. There's no sense if you're bugging out to leave the other set of keys at home. You never know if you lose them, drop them. One of the main things in bugging out is a set of keys. And it's going to be skills versus equipment and tools because the stuff that you use to set up your camp or your survival situation, it's how well you can use them. Yeah, and another thing with the skills too, I'm going to cut this intro really short, is skills you can take with you, all right? What we're doing right now is just going to build us confidence. We have the skills. We could probably do with a quarter of this equipment, actually, for what you and I know about nature. But if you do this stuff and practice, it builds confidence. And you can take that confidence anywhere you want to go. And you can eliminate some of your equipment or gear by using it. If, it, if you can use it good, keep it. If you can't use it or you don't have a practical use for it, then you can eliminate from your pack. Oh yeah, we have way too, we have more gear than we actually need. There's no doubt about it. But I don't want to sell ourselves short either. And you were going to bring paper and pencil, and I didn't bring any paper and pencil, and we were going to do a list of itemized stuff of what we needed and what we don't need. So, okay, we're going to go build our shelter real quick. We brought our uh, survival guns with us. We're going to try to do some bird hunting and some trout fishing, and we're going to try to get this all in in one day. So stay tuned. We'll go through our equipment and everything a little bit later on. We get the camp sort of set up. Sounds good. We finished the structure on our shelter. We secured it with some paracord here to this tree, pretty strong. We put some legs coming out because we're planning on putting mylar, emergency blanket down and weaving it between these poles to reflect the heat in. We have just a tripod on this end holding that end up securely. Then we're going to put the mylar down, put tarp down, and then we got these ferns all over the place. We're going to put these down for bedding. And then once we get this all filled up, we'll probably have a spot for a little fire in here for heat. That'll reflect off the mylar. The smoke will rise up between these poles that we have on the tree, hopefully, and just vent through the top so we won't get smoked out. That's going to be our plan. When we finish the process, we'll show you the finished deal, and we'll tell you what we think. More back. Shelter's done. This is pretty much what we're going to have for sleeping quarters. We laid the ferns down, we got these wool blankets, that's what, all we got. And then we're going to have a little campfire probably right about here somewhere. And hopefully it'll be enough heat reflected and stuff to keep it warm in here overnight. And we might cover the end up here with some tarp. We don't know yet, keep the wind from blowing through it. But that's the intentions. Starting to get a little later, we're going to try to do some uh, trout fishing. There's a creek down here. We're going to try to get some rookies. So. I'll talk to you later when we're cooking the dinner and get it set up a little better. Dan's out looking for some worms right now. We brought these little pen fishing poles and reel. And we're going to go try catching some trout. Once we, if we catch any, we did bring some food. Hopefully we catch some because this is the last weekend for trout season. Then we'll cook them up and we'll go through our gear. As we're walking back from trout fishing, and let me tell you, these fishing poles suck save your money here's an old bear bait station this must be from a couple years ago but I see a big old can on top of it and I'm just wondering if we can't turn that into a little stove for inside our shelter so I'm gonna take that with me we're stuck in the rain what we're gonna do is start a fire in this can get a little heat in here Dan's just poking some holes at the bottom. Good Leatherman. Yeah, definitely. That's a good idea. We've proven that over and over again. All right, we'll get back to you in a little bit. Smoke's coming out the shelter just the way we had it planned. We threw a bunch of green ferns and stuff in there, so we kind of smothered out a little bit, but we wanted to see exactly where the smoke was going to go. We're going to go through our gear real quick. These little pen poles. 
<laughs> that's what I think of them. The eyelets are so small on it. They'd be good for ice fishing or fishing off a boat where you could take the line off. But for trout fishing, anyone who's ever trout fished, you got to pendle them in some places. You just can't do it with them things. So I think my next investment is going to be one of them telescopic poles. You know, that Daryl Camp uh, gave me one. I should have I should have thought about bringing. Yeah, them. you could have, we could have tried both. Yeah. I have yeah. the same output. The pole itself feels. If it had better features on the pole, it'd be better, but it just yeah. there's nothing. Yeah. Uh, we both brought survival rifles. I personally like the shotgun, so I have my grandfather's old shotgun. Henry Survival 22. It all fits into stock, and it floats. And it floats. And me. I think if you're going to go off in the woods, we've had this debate. Yep, you can carry more ammo for the 22, but you know what? I can carry slugs, I can carry fine shot, I can carry buckshot for this 410. I really don't know what the buckshot's going to do, but it might scare the heck out of something. But this little 410 my grandfather gave me when I was young, and I just love this thing. Comes apart in two pieces. One little pin. The idea is to have it small enough you can carry it and not be a nuisance to carry, I guess. Well, and the, the ammo. The ammo itself, yeah. too. Don't get me wrong. You can carry 500 rounds compared to my, you know, 100 yeah. rounds for weight. Comes with two, two magazines, eight round magazines in the stock. And since we failed a, at uh, trout fishing, we're going to try some uh, bird hunting. Some of the other stuff, let's see, now we split up, we split the load up on this. I brought a little Gerber axe hatchet. You brought saw. And building that shelter, you basically needed both. I was trimming the limbs up, and you were cutting the uh, trees down. Yep. Bought this a few years ago, didn't know how it worked, and ended up, I use it all the time. Every time we go, pretty much. It's just simple. I found it got a good deal on it. Just hooks in the handle, clamps down. You got saw. Yeah, that's Simple. that's nice. That's nice. Firewood, anything like that works great. We brought some Lucy lights for nighttime. These little chairs, these little sport your chairs. We take them kayak and we use them all the time. Uh, I got a Katadin. Simple, real light. Oh yeah. Yep. I got a Katadin uh, water filter system. Which, the only thing I brought was a water bottle. I got some plastic uh, Sawyer water bags I'm going to go fill up because if we don't have any, if we don't get any trail, which we caught some small ones, but uh, if we don't get any birds, we got some mountain house packs to back us up. I think any bug out situation. Use we have emergency food, yeah. at least a couple days worth. Yeah, I don't like the mountain house. I'm not a big fan of it. But what else can you put in your bag that's dry and all you need is water to, you know, to take off in? A mountain house, you can go to Walmart or anywhere and get it there. I mean, that's yeah. the thing with mountain house. Oh, Just yeah. easy yeah, access that's everywhere. to it. Well, we got some rain suits. I brought, this is a little wood stove I want to put together. I'm going to boil water on that. I'm going to leave that out so we can try it. Two bottles of water. I got my frog togs. A little baby bag. This is, I Six brought bags. this. Yeah, we're going to use those tonight. I brought this little folding saw. It's nothing fancy, but it'll work. Spare change of clothes, fall in a river or something. Always carry it in a dry bag, fall in a river or anything. You always change your clothes, stay dry. I'm changing my clothes here in a little bit because... Sweatshirt. Yeah, because uh, I had this gulp alive. Just a little imitation wax worms, and I was over there digging in the grass for some worms, and the lid wasn't on tight, and man, does it stink. It run right down my leg. So a little fishing kit. I got the same thing, clothes. Uh, Just your basic necessities, pretty much. Sure. Yeah, I'll tell you what, these little roaring fire bags, you can, you can put a lot of stuff in these. I'll bet you we got 35, 40 pounds worth of gear in here. And a lot of stuff I know we're not going to use. Oh, the yo-yos. Yeah, we got some of these yo-yos. Never tried them yet. We were going to try them and see, but... I don't even know if it's legal to use. Yeah, I don't think they're legal, so... 
that's good to have because yeah, when you're actually when you need to eat, you gotta eat. Little cook set. That's my little cook set. I got another little bivy bag. Frog tog wetsuit. Fire starter kit. It starts downpouring. You gotta move or anything. Yep. Little toothbrush, toothpaste. Pick them up at Walmart, Myers. Good to have on your camping trips. I brought a couple little uh, towels just to dry off with. And that's pretty much all we got. We got flashlights in here, yep. batteries. Uh, yeah, I got mountain house mountain in here house. too. And then I brought my little cook stove. Jimmy, I always look at it. If it's too wet to cook or anything, start a fire. At least you can cook. No, it is. I mean, it is. But if you're out in for a backup. If you're out for any length of time, you'd have to go with wood. Wood, yeah. yeah. Well, you'd use so. that as a backup, but you can't start a fire or something. Right, oh yeah. Or if it's downpouring, you're stuck in a tent yeah. or something, you can use it. All right, that's all our gear. I'm going to pack everything back up, and we're going to go try to do some bird hunting. Maybe we can get some birds for dinner, but if anyone ever watched my other videos, thank God we brought the mountain house. <laughs> of course, your cord, flashlight, yep, all your basic... First aid kit. We have four of these. What? Who? What's the name of these tarps? Oh, outdoors. They're just outdoor products. Outdoor, outdoor products. That's yep. it. We five by up seven. Walmart. Yep. What the heck were they? Five bucks a piece. Yeah, or something? five or seven bucks, something like that. So he bought two. I bought two. They're the, small enough. You strap them on the outside of your bag. <laughs> oh yeah, that's better than nothing. So, and I always coffee cup. My silverware. Yeah, I, got I come that up with too. an idea. I just got some silverware, drilled some holes in the handle, hang on your bag. You always got it. So that's pretty much our gear. So, so maybe we can go get some birds now. So wish us luck. We'll be back. Poop paper, <laughs> bug spray, safety blanket, lighter, spare lighter, first aid kit. Pretty much it. And we'll I, see you in a few. I paused a long time ago. <laughs> well, we didn't do no gluck bird hunting, so we're going to filter some water here to cook our mountain houses on. Yeah, I don't think we'd ever make it on alone. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Even with guns and fishing poles, we still can't catch fish. Every time we try to video a bird hunt, never get anything. But it did turn out to be a beautiful night though. Sunset's going down. Except. You got enough water? Yeah, I grabbed the Sawyer bags out of my other Sawyer set. And I didn't put a cap, I didn't grab the caps. So, let's go have some mountain house. Alright, sounds good. Well, we're at the camp. Didn't do no good bird hunting. If you watched our videos before, as Jim said, we don't have no luck bird hunting, so our fishing didn't go so well. Blaming the poles for that. We did catch a couple of those. We had to let them go. They were just baby ones. Um, but we do have our mountain house. Jimmy's got spaghetti and I got rice and chicken. So we're just boiling some water. I and think this right here is going to be our bonfire for the night right here. Yeah. This stove works pretty decent. It's uh folds up flat, so it's I don't know maybe a six by six square, and it's it's a Lixda, yeah, L I X A D A or four something. I don't know. I think I think I bought it off a of Wish. I'm not too sure. But the like like my fuel stove, the little stoves you get, you know you got to rely on fuel. A nice night, night to night, sticks are dry and stuff. You can boil it like this. Ain't got to burn no fuel, so I, I think that's a pretty decent deal there. Yeah, this is definitely we're taking. And we have our Lucy lights hanging up, which is a proven. <laughs> they haven't let us down yet. Them work good, so. Yeah. There's... Also, in my camera bag, I thought I got six bottles. One must still be in there. I got these little shots. I think it's like, might have to be two shot bottles. I got Tennessee honey, cinnamon whiskey, blackberry whiskey. All right, we're out for the night. We will see you guys in the morning first thing. Hopefully you guys can see this. We have a whole pile of wood already in here. We ended up using the other two tarps to block off the two entrances, if you can see it. There's too much wind blowing through. Yep, 
but I'll tell you what all the smokes going up and what a toasty difference I mean from outside we just came inside and what a difference this has got to be like 30 degrees warmer than what it is outside I wish I had a thermometer to uh, tell you how warm it is in here as long as Dan stays up and stokes that fire every 15 minutes I should sleep really good <laughs> well, that's why I got some wet stuff. Throw one of these in there, yeah. and it'll smolder. Forever. And where's some big ones you cut up? Like grab, right grab one of those. Yeah, we cut some. Uh, hold it still. We cut some bigger green stuff to uh, shove in the can to make it last longer. So, I'm impressed. I really am. We could make it on a loan. All we need is a Gordon food can, a saw. We'd have to pick up our hunting and fishing a little better. Yeah, we get to. Practice it a little more. It is 3.30 in the morning. We just had to empty the can out because the ashes were too high. Wouldn't let any air in. And we poked, uh, Dan poked some more holes in it, made it bigger. But look, how, if you can see how cherry red that thing is right now. It's a little bit of work. It's not easy. About it's every half here. hour, yep. It's hot now, but about every half hour you got to throw some little logs into it. She's daylight in the swamp. If you can see it, we had to sacrifice mm -hmm. some of our upright poles. Because from like 3 to 5, it rained so hard. And we were out of wood. Daniel, son, we got to make some coffee. I am so sore. Ferns are a no go. Oh, what the hell was that? Ferns is your body, buddy. Ferns oh. are a no go. We couldn't put enough ferns down. Oh my goodness. All right, we'll talk to you when we start making some coffee. Can work good though. We had to dump it out about. I don't know, three times for the ashes because it wouldn't breathe. But it worked good, kept us warm. And ferns are a no-go for uh, to sleep on. I have never been so sore in my whole life. I could barely get up and move this morning. Even last night, I used to, I wanted to lay there. I mean, I'd never been in that kind of pain before. My hips and thighs are killing me. It's all a learning experience, like the can. That's why you do the experiments like this, is you know for next time, hey, that ain't gonna work proper, we better put more holes in it right off the bat. Well, if you bring a can. Well, I mean, if you find one, or but yeah. you know for next time, that's... Well, don't get me wrong, though. We burnt a lot less wood oh, using yeah. this than we did if we'd have put <clears> some <throat> rocks and have a fire in it there. The shelter worked great. I mean, it reflected mm -hmm. the heat. It, like we said, once we got this going pretty good, it heated right up, it was hot. You didn't need to cover up or nothing, but... I think we're going to sacrifice some of our 5x7 tarps and I got some carpet adhesive or upholstery adhesive for like inside vehicles for the headliners and stuff and I think I'm going to take some of the mylar and glue it down and, and have glue that already tarp, done. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Alright guys, we're going to hightail it out of here. Thanks for watching, sure do appreciate it. Don't forget your coffee in the morning either. Yeah, <laughs> gotta have that. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. We gotta go down and get some water. Put that out. Use this coffee can. <laughs> With the holes in it. <laughs> All right.